Well, one of your first acting jobs was actually a Super Bowl commercial, so that's elevated. <laughs> um, I was like, that's, that's incredible. It was really uh, very exciting. It's still yeah. exciting today to, to watch it because yeah. I wish I was in a Super Bowl commercial today. I mean, they're like, huge. They're yeah. huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look how huge you are. I felt like I was filming a movie. Like, that's how exciting yeah. it was at well, the time. Well, because it's like the first thing. Yeah. Were you more excited about craft services? Like, I always feel like every time I talk to people, they're always mm -hmm. like, craft services was incredible. I, I, I brought one of our kids here today, and yeah. the thing he was most excited about was the food that was going to be around. Exactly. Yeah. Check out the hallway. Yeah. There's a big <laughs> hallway full of stuff you won't want him to eat. Yeah. Um, or eat. Um, so you come from a, a huge football family. I actually did not know this about you, but one of your parents owns the Steelers and one owns the Giants. Yeah. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Yeah, because I was like, wait, what? And then <laughs> what are football games like at your house? Because they get intense at my house, yeah. and no one owns anything. You know, we feel like we do in spirit. But, like, yeah, yeah literally, y'all own them. So, like, what, <laughs> what kind of chaos ensues at a football? Like, it's pretty wild. My dad's side of my family, who are the giant side of the family, there's 11 kids. So my dad is one of 11. Wow. Um, so that's insane anyway. Yeah. And then they're all psycho giant fans. Yeah. So you can imagine how crazy it is yes. emotionally. But then I married someone who is a psycho um, English football fan. So okay. we've got football on the brain at oh. all times. So you mean soccer in that sense. Yeah. Well, yes, football, but I can't call football, it soccer. I know it's called football there. I just mean, but so that's a lot of sports going on yes. in the household. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, you've sung the national anthem, um, so have I, at an NFL game. So here's the thing, though. Yours was pretty intense. Yours was an emotional one because it was a connection to your family, right? Oh, yeah. I think one of the last, I don't know why I ever sang the national anthem. I was a young, I'm not a singer. I, I definitely I shouldn't you are. ever have, no. Like a fun, I'll sing in the shower or sing Disney songs. But my grandpa, when he was alive, um, used to ask me to sing it. And yeah. so I thought, well, yeah, I should do that if he asked me. But now I just can't even, I don't know how I ever got the guts to do it. Because, I, again, I don't feel thing. confident doing that. I know, but don't you wish you could carry that over into, like, adulthood? Like how, even in The Voice, when I have, like, younger artists that I'm working with, they don't even know to be jaded or scared or fearful. They yeah. just go for it. I know. Which is such a way that you should live your life anyway. So I love that. I almost wish we could carry that over. I wish, yeah, I wish I was as brave now as I was then, for yeah. sure. Yeah.